Stand and deliver. Are you ready for tonight's headliner? Then please give a massive stand and deliver welcome to Trevor Lock! Hello. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He just seemed a little bit um, underwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> were you expecting a different Trevor Lock? You're not, thank you were. <laughs> what were you expecting? I'm looking Anne at you. Anne Wynn. Anne Wynn? No. No. Anne okay, I don't understand. <laughs> That's all right, I'm not don't just interrupt me whilst I'm talking to him now. <laughs> Is she spoken before? I don't think so. No, okay. <laughs> so this will be the first time that someone has attempted to interact with her. <laughs> will it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, and why do you say that no one can understand her? I work with her. Oh, you work with her. <laughs> so you're allowed to be rude yeah, to her absolutely. because you're her colleague <laughs> and what we assume, friend, unless, unless you, you very unkindly followed her. <laughs> in her free time. <laughs> Not only does he bully her at work, <laughs> he's found out what her hobbies are. <laughs> so you are friends as well. Yeah. Why can't I understand you? I'm going to give you one last chance to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand that, I understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's going to explain to me why I can't understand you. No, I can understand you. I don't need him to understand you. <laughs> Understand, sorry, this is what a strange microphone this is. This is a very, um, can you fix it for me? Just, just, just try and make it work. Um, <laughs> what a strange one. The first time you can't understand her, the second time you can. Now, <laughs> that's probably the funniest thing he could have done. All the, all, all the choices he had, look at this again, the choices he had. Fix it. <laughs> Not fix it, <laughs> fix it to a ridiculous and absurd degree that also humiliates me. It's, it's a brilliant silent heckle on my stature and my inability to work basic machinery. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. Have you ever used a, a, um, a microphone stand before? Yeah. You have? Okay, so, so we could say that I was unlucky. <laughs> you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, it's a very, very small front row. One in six chance. You know, normally I'm a very successful comedian. Normally, I've got a much, much. Uh, if you, normally, you'd be on a front row of about twenty, and the chances of me falling into your trap <laughs> would have been a lot lower. You're smarter than that, aren't you? You wait until I'm playing a six, a six-seater front row menu. Sit in the middle. Probably rig the microphone stand. Remember when I asked him earlier, have you operated a mic stand before? He said yes. Probably this very one. <laughs> Did you provide the seating's equipment? No. No. Okay. When was the last time you handled? Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> I know you're looking at this, but I'm We're in the middle of a test. So the first time I talked to you, couldn't understand you, and I think a lot of people couldn't. I don't think I was the only one in the room. Uh, the second time, I understood you perfectly. We're going to come back to you. Now, I think a lot of people can see where I'm going with this. First of all, we need to find out what the fuck this guy's up to. Um, so when was the last time you uh, operated a microphone stand? Uh, probably about a year. Probably about a year ago? Yeah, a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago now? Yeah, Some time ago. And uh, under what circumstances did you operate that microphone a year and a half ago? <laughs> so we're talking about the winter... You, winter, winter. Uh, winter of 2017, 2018. I used to be in sound engineering. You used to be in sound engineering. <laughs> until... <laughs> he, Consistently humiliated the acts by making the uh, 
<laughs> too tall, was it? Is that your thing? Is that your thing? I mean, it's just an angle. You can't really gauge your height too well. You can't gauge height from, yeah. from sitting down. Yeah. That, that's your weakness. <laughs> 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 that was my, you would have thought, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm six and a half feet tall. Okay, okay, okay. That's, that's interesting. Okay. And was, was that the reason your career in um, technical support in the entertainment industry failed? No. No. What happened? Better opportunities. Better opportunities. You wanker. Better opportunities than helping you out doing your job. What better opportunities did you find? Uh, I started going into a uh, more proper form of engineering. You started to go into a more proper form of engineering. Yeah. You started to go into a more proper form of engineering. It's the funniest thing this man's ever heard. Do you know him? Yeah, we worked together. Alright, oh, okay. That's what we know. Two on the other end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Tim is a bit of a wanker. <laughs> 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 Remember the hint from earlier on? <laughs> it's just part of Tim is a bit of a wanker, to be honest. <laughs> we weren't going there. <laughs> <laughs> All three of you know each other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. However, you have chosen to keep your counsel. <laughs> yes. Um, Okay, so what sort of engineering have you, did you start to go into? <laughs> Power systems. Power systems. Yeah. You macho. Um, I'm gonna do that. Uh, okay, what is a power system? So, who, first of all, who knows what a power system is apart from these four? No. Any, anyone? A system of power. <laughs> Who does that help? Who does that help? Time wasting wanker. Huh? Really? <laughs> what, what, what way around is it that you said it? Power, si power systems. Power systems, and he said a system of power. Yeah. Stupid twat. <laughs> Patting his own belly with pride. I like that actually, I like you more now for doing that. that. That's the kind of guy I like, a man who, when he says something annoying, time wasting, smug and pointless, at least, at least has the self-confidence to tap his own belly in pride. <laughs> Was it your belly you were tapping? Pardon? It's my leg. Is your leg? I'm just not sorry. I just think you're fatter than you are. It hurts a little bit. Pardon? It hurts a little bit. I'm gonna be honest. Your leg or me calling you fat? You calling me fat? Sorry, I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to call you fat. I thought you were. <laughs> I understand now. You're you're not fat. You've just, just got a big thigh. Um, it's right, it just makes a big sound. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what a big thigh is in this day and age. Um, so apologies. Yeah. All right. We're we good. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, okay. That was tricky, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you'd gone to the council and accused me of abuse, <laughs> size abuse or something. Um, okay, so um, no one knows what you do, <laughs> and I imagine you already know that. So who's the real time waster? <laughs> is it him with a perfectly normal thigh that makes a good sound and taps it? Is he the time waster? Or is it you that presumably have had to tell people what you do many, many times in the last 18 months? And presumably you know the reaction you get. One of non-plusness with an occasional smart-ass reversal of the syntax. You bastard. <laughs> It's almost like you've sat on the front row with a loaded pistol to sabotage my set from the beginning. I'll fuck up his mic stand. I'll fail to tell him what I do properly. I've lost interest in you. Um, doesn't deserve it, does he?
going to go back to remember that lady? <laughs> test is, I'm going to speak to her. Do you understand what I'm expecting? The first time I could understand her, the, se the, no, the first time I couldn't understand her, the second time I could understand her, and my hypothesis is, the, s the third time, because it's an odd number, it's far too fucking high, look how uncomfortable. <laughs> Leave it, don't twist my elbow. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, what a powerful system that is. Um, just the right height, isn't it? Um, so I'm expecting that on the third time, because it's an uneven number, I'm expecting uh, to not understand her. Um, huh? You want to repeat the hypothesis? <laughs> What do you mean again? You won't be able to understand her on the third time. That's what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> I was just you, you're, you're I was There's no need to do that. But that, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> just did trying anybody, to help. Okay, well thank you. Thank you. I don't need it. <laughs> did anybody need her clarification? <laughs> I don't want to shoot her down. I mean, we're a very small number of people, I assume. Is there anybody who didn't know what I was going to do? And she goes, what about you? Thigh no. boy? You feel patronised when I call you thigh man. <laughs> Little bit. Would you prefer me to call you thigh man? Yes. <laughs> that would really boost my self confidence. Okay. Well, unfortunately, you don't look old enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can't do it, can I? Thigh man. No, I can call you thigh adolescent. <laughs> Better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Pubescent thigh <laughs> person. <laughs> How many years since you've been through puberty? Since you began it? I don't know. Seven, I guess? Seven. Okay. Lucky seven. Okay. <laughs> so, so you've been in PVP, you started puberty seven years ago. Sure. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Don't, don't put it on me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you've made it so. If people weren't concentrating, if they just suddenly come into the room like a man has, <laughs> they might think that I've told you that you've been in puberty for seven years. <laughs> I don't have the rights to do that, it's not my... You don't have that skill. You're too far away for me to tell. Him, however. Had a good look at you. I think you've been through... You've been in puberty or out of it. You started puberty, I think, at least a decade ago. Am I correct? That's nice. No. That's nice? <laughs> you choose this moment to pipe up, do you? <laughs> Earlier on, when it was, he's a wanker, yes, I can't wait to see where this is going, you think being quiet. Spread the abuse, though. Spread the abuse, you think that's a term of abuse, saying that he's been in uh, puberty for ten years. Not been in it, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's got out of it, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You think he's still trapped there, do you? Okay. Can you now reveal how long ago you went to puberty? Probably about five years. Probably about five yeah. years. Show me your ID. Hey. <laughs> you do realise he's over 18s? Yeah. yeah. 20, was You're 20? Yeah, late bloomer. You're a late bloomer. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's very proud of what he's developed. <laughs> Apparently, he's bloomed. <laughs> <laughs> Who is imagining it in a vase? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine when he gets home at night. Takes off his clothes, puts it in a vase. <laughs> Like, like old people do in their dentures in the morning. Like old people do in their dentures in the morning, he does it at night. So. Put that in there, fill it up with a little bit of water. Still blooming. <laughs> and then in the morning, when you lot are just pulling on your pants and trousers, this guy has something extra to do first. Take it out of the vase, towel it off. <laughs> towel it off, dry it. Pop it in. Pop it in, pop it on. <laughs> <coughs> Do you understand what I'm doing? I'm imagining that his cock goes into yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, I'm, I'm, imagining, I'm treating his penis like a flower. Okay? Yeah. Treating his penis like a flower. I'm saying that I imagine to commemorate the war dead. 
He pins his cock to his jumper in November for about a week. He looks smug about it. But I imagine he's been doing that for about five years. So, um, yes. Welcome back, she said. I understood it. My hypothesis has been defeated. I think I probably just wasn't paying attention to you the first time you spoke. Uh, where is your accent from? Australia. Yeah, I don't understand again. Uh, so it's a different kind of algorithm. I think it's one, two, and then one. No idea what you said. Valdeser, I thought you said. Valdeser? No, no not Valdeser. Now I understand you again. Um, it's, uh, I don't understand, I understand twice, don't understand others. So the next thing she says, I should understand. Oh, this is some fucking code she's using. Maybe you're having a stroke. <laughs> Maybe I'm having a stroke. Is my face looking like Why would you say that? Why? What's wrong with me? Is everything okay? Am I okay? Yes. Right. What? So <laughs> Why do you think I'm... understand what people are saying? Maybe you're having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, maybe I'm having a series of small strokes. <laughs> 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 I don't know what he's having, but it's... <laughs> What? I'm just imagining having on and off strokes. <laughs> I know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a doctor, I don't think it happens like that. Then, is it? No, no. Are you a medical professional? Then keep out of it. <laughs> I'm on your amateur homeopathy here, thank you very much. That's how the homeopaths treat a stroke. I think you're having a stroke! Based on my evidence. You can't hear things sometimes, and then you can. <laughs> Have you ever used homeopathy? And for what um, illness? <laughs> what is the meaning of that? <laughs> I understood, Do you that. understand I, that? I understood <laughs> that. What is the meaning of that? Yeah. yeah. So it works. Okay, so the next thing you say I will not understand. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand it because this woman was laughing <laughs> pointlessly at nothing. Everyone else had finished their laughter and we were about to hear a thing and now you've written anyway. <laughs> Right, before I begin... <laughs> let's, uh, I don't do anything, I've got nothing, am I? So we'll just sort of talk around. Um, so, uh, how long have we got left? Two minutes. Okay, so there is no point in actually starting. There's no point in starting. Um, is, it, is anybody coming up for any special reason tonight? <laughs> I don't know why I fucking ruined anyone's evening <laughs> by talking to these people. You've not made it worse. So. I haven't made it worse. <laughs> that's basically how, that's, that's how I started out my career, with the intention to not make people's evenings worse. <laughs> I can achieve that. That's why they book me. That's why they book me at the end of nights. Because if, uh, if he goes on at the end, he can't make it any worse. Um, okay, no one's got a birthday uh, coming up. <laughs> Who made that noise? Why did you make that noise then? I thought it was funny, but I was trying not to laugh loudly. You didn't realise this is a comedy club, eh? <laughs> that is almost... I mean, it's just... It's absolutely loud. <laughs> What are you doing in the library? <laughs> what did you find funny? Um, the, the joke. Um... Can <laughs> <laughs> I just make it clear, I have done no jokes. <laughs> I don't understand why you did that. <laughs> yeah? 
I'm asking if you have a birthday coming. Oh, that, no, that was a joke. It's one of the great jokes, isn't it? <laughs> one-liners. Um, I saw a lot of you didn't get it. It went over a lot of you. Um, you know, it takes a, a smart guy in the back to get that one. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it works on us. You know, it is a little bit, yes, I can understand why no one else laughed. It's one of my best one-liners. To be honest, it's the way I tell them. Uh, is anyone, let's see if it cracks them up again. Is anyone... <laughs> How's it, how's it going again? Um, has anyone got a birthday coming up? Oh, you have. Oh, you have. You have. Maybe that's why you found it funny. Yeah, when, when do you, we've all got a birthday coming up, let's be honest. Unless we're really pessimistic. Um, unless this woman's pronounced that we're having a stroke. When is your, when, sorry, when? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, so next week. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Nick. Nick. Uh, Nick. Okay. Um, and where were you born? In Sidcup. That <laughs> <laughs> does sound funny the way he says it. It's a well-known place, but the way he said it, that is quite funny. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he was born in Sidcup. He's got a funny voice. Are you a comedian? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe that's why we laugh. Um, and uh, how long? Uh, so you, uh, you don't live here. I do. Oh, you do live here. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you were born in Sidcup. You moved to Reading when? In two thousand and seventeen. Two thousand and seventeen. And how old are you going to be on Wednesday? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. <laughs> <laughs> that, that man can only dream of that age. <laughs> Unbelievable that someone has lived as long as you have uh, from Sidcup. Um, okay. okay. Well, anyway, we have, we have, we have overrun, um, and uh, we'll just we'll just finish on the little song. We'll just sing to. We'll just sing. What's your name? Nick. We'll just sing to Nick. Please, that's a nice way to end it. Yeah. Yeah. After three. All right. We're all going to do this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't want to do this? Okay. <laughs> Why don't you? Why don't you want to do it? Oh, it's effort. Really. It is effort. It's effort. Yes, yes. You don't want to do it. No. I don't. You don't have to. You don't have to. Good. Yes. Do you want to do it? You just put your hand up as well. You don't want to sing, do you? No, I don't want no, to. No, good. Um, didn't want you to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 After three, we'll all join in, apart from you, you, and you. <laughs> Bastards. Uh, it's too much effort for that woman. She hates joy, and this man is pure evil. Um, after three, one, two, three. Oh, Chris, you used to be a little... I thought you were all going to do it. <laughs> What's your name? <coughs> what is it? Nick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> We've overrun, uh, Nick. We were going to sing to you. I got your name wrong. And unfortunately, this woman pointed it out. And it could have had a lovely song. And the only thing that would have been wrong about it, it wouldn't have been for you. <laughs> it's just, um, I mean, have I overrun? Have I, have I, yes. Yes, okay. So, guys, I'm really sorry about that. Let's just quickly close on a prayer and then we can go. <laughs> Are we all Christian? No. Are we at least all Christian? <laughs> For God's sake, what are you? We haven't got any of the funny ones in, have we? Have we? What are you? Come on. Atheist and proud. You're an atheist. Well, just join in. Nothing's happening. <laughs> uh, dear God, we thank you for bringing us here together in the smallest room of the pub. <laughs> Um, we ask you um, to forgive me for uh, calling 
Nick, Chris, and you are <laughs> a chance of a delightful early birthday song, even though three cunts did not enjoy it. Please, we ask you to forgive me for using the C word in a prayer to you.